Martin from the Lake Poets, thanks so much for playing for us here at Bushstock Festival. My pleasure, thank you. Um, tell me a bit about the track that you just played because it's a beautiful song. I, I take it it might be about some kind of loss, yearning. It is, it's a, it's, it's a pretty <laughs> complex song. I, I find it hard to explain because it's uh, every time I do try and explain it, people think I'm a complete crackpot. But uh, it's a song called April. Yeah. I recently released it on CD and vinyl just uh, through a local record uh, label in the North East. Yeah. It's done pretty well. It's got couple of thousand hits on uh, YouTube yeah. and nearly sold out with a CD so hopefully a few more people might hear it and like it. Yeah, no, it's absolutely gorgeous. It sounded so good Thank you. How did you become the Lake Because you've got like an ever-evolving cast of players, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. Um, I, the way I try and explain it to people is, as, even though it's acoustic music, I'm a big fan of Queens of Stone Age. Yeah. And Queens of Stone Age is kind of Josh Homme. It's his songs, but he just gets his, his talented mate in to help him out each album. You know, you've got Dave Grohl in for yeah. Songs for Death. So I've got like these bank of songs I'm continuously writing, and I'm lucky enough to know some people in Newcastle and a bit further afield who, who like us enough to play yeah. with us on records and, and with us 
at live gigs. So at the minute, on the last record, I had Kev from Failed Music, who's yeah, been playing a bit, and um, Mick Ross from Frankly Hot Strings yeah. helped us out. And it's just for me, it's about just kind of sharing the experience with people I respect and admire, and hopefully make a good record out of it. Yeah, because there's such a good scene, isn't there, in Sunderland? There's a real kind of intimate music scene. Yeah, Does it's that, pretty cool. Like, I mean, there's, yeah. there's not much going on in no. Sunderland North East, um, but I think that's because we just try really hard yeah so we've got nothing to do so we just spend all our efforts and energy making music and trying to put gigs on and trying to bring people up and yeah. just creating something out of nothing and there's loads and loads of people up there and it's, it's a great place to be a part of music yeah and what's the new ep gonna sound like is it kind of more of the same no the last couple of tracks have been quite grand full band efforts with cellos yeah. and strings and and mega things like that in big expensive studios i'm hoping to go maybe a bit more lo-fi again yeah and just experiment and try and get a not exactly fun because my music's quite somber, but it's kind of an experimental feel. Yeah. So people can kind of the songs flow, and it's got yeah. maybe a bit of a concept. Maybe it's overshooting myself, but I want to try and do something like that. Yeah. Well, Martin, thank you so much for playing for us. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much. And good luck with your Vistock show. Thank you very much. I once stole Tiny Tempers tea bags at Birmingham Mo Two Academy, and his bouncers and mentors and minders chased us down the road. I don't want you to hold me